Will this recipe help you win over that cute girl at the gym? No. You gotta be yourself for that. Unless you're a tool. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make carbonara. 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 Today I'm gonna to show you how to make fists with flames. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make carbonara pasta. It's so easy, a child could do it. Which is good because I'm a child at heart. And at brain. Okay, let's get going. First we're gonna shred some cheese. Oh, this is dirty, but no one will know that because I'm gonna cut this out probably. Clean your bowls. Microplane. Microplane. We're gonna start off by using equal amounts of, oh, this is gonna be hard to open. Why are you so difficult to open, Mr. Cheese? These boots are made for cutting and that's what they'll do. Woo, cheese. We're gonna start off with some Remigiano. Remigiano, Remigiano Parcomano. I like to use a microplane here because it, well, I mean, it makes the, che the cheese small and it melts easier, I guess, later. <laughs> I'm making cheese for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with about two cups of this. Yeah, something like that. Maybe a cup and a half. I mean, it's up to you. There's no, there's no, there's no hard and fast rules. Beep, boop, boop, beep, pop. I'm gonna put that there. And we're also gonna use some pecorino romano. A little peco romo. No, that doesn't, peco. Peco Mano. I'm just gonna call it Peco Mano. It's funnier. Whoa, it's so good. I enjoy that, I think. Yeah, I don't know, cup. Cup and a half of Peco Romo. Peco Romo, it's Pecorino Romano. If you're just tuning in. Super cheesy. I like my sense of humor. This is taking forever. Clean up all that cheese and then do you think we can put Velveeta in there? What, I've never even had it. I've never had Velveeta. What are you? Someone gave me this. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with this. No. No, we're not gonna put Velveeta in there. All right, let's crack some eggs. One. Yeah. It's like my mom always said, you can't make a good carbonara without cracking a few eggs. Might've been an omelet, I don't know. Doesn't matter, you know? And number three. For the last one, we're gonna just do uh, just a note, just a noke, a no an egg noke, egg noke. Words are hard. Beep. You crack the egg. I just want the yolk. Making a mess again. Just gonna beat these eggs. Gonna beat these eggs to death. Sorry. And now we're gonna put it into this thing. <laughs> Stupid. Rinse your bowl because eggs stick. Give it a nice mix and sir mix a lot. Probably enjoys carbonara because there's mixing involved. Now, if you're really hardcore, you can just eat that. Pepper, we're gonna add some pepper. Now you've got pepper in here. Bet you guys don't know the pepper dance. Pepper dance. Pepper dance. Pepper dance. Sorry. Pepper dance. So let's start the, water, the, heat, the hot water stuff. Yeah, that's probably enough water. Cool, water, salt. Just add some salt. All right, let's cook some lardons. Boop. I like to use this much. I don't really know what the difference is between this and bacon. But that being said, I'm not the sharpest tool in the library. Mix, 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 mix. Carbonara. Curbonuru. Kiribinini. I don't know. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, get them all crispies. Maybe you, you want to impress yourself and see if you've, you've got what it takes to make carbonara. You probably do. I can make it and I'm not super that good. So I got a big old lard on for you right now. That shouldn't say that. Uh, go back in there. It's like popcorn. Pop, pain, pump up. No, go back in there. That's how you make friends. Give them lardons. These are some raging lardons. Cool. Leave the lardons right here. And now the water's boiling. So read how long they want you to put this in. Three minutes. Three minutes. You can use, you can use like the stuff in the box that's like dry, but I like these because they're fresh. Fresh. I put it in, putting it in guys. In. It will be ready in three minutes. Three minutes. Mixing the pastouche. Pastouche. Do I have tongs? Tong to tong, tong, tongs. Are you ready? I'm ready for my close up. Ah, it's so hot. It's not done. This time I think we're good. Yes, we're ready this time. All right, let's put that pasta into the lardon thing. Coat this pasta with the oil and the lardon or whatever you want to call it. Oh, that deglazes the pan too. Cool. Flavor. 
Now we're gonna add in our slurry. Making carbonara. Carbonara. More like carbs onara, am I right? Add a little salty salt. Just a little bit of salty salt. Not too much salty salt, guys. You can never have too much pepper. Unless you're serving somebody that has pepper allergies. In which case, more pepper is deadlier. Pepper, 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 pepper. Okay, let's plate it. Oh no! Little bit more pepper! And now you have carbonara. See how easy and not chaotic that was? And now I eat you. That's good. Mm. What's cool about carbonara is if you don't like it, you can f off. If you want to get really wild, add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Someone told me it tastes good. Or don't, I don't care. This can be in your mouth in less than however long this took me to make. Bye. You're good.